Hey, it's Chris. There's nothing like sticking an awesome new wallpaper on our devices. An awesome new wallpaper can breathe new life into your device. But looking for some awesome new wallpaper can suck the life out of you, right? It's kind of like Netflix. When you're looking for something to watch, you can spend way more time, waste more time looking for something than actually finding something. So today I wanna help you save some time and just kind of give you some shortcuts to where you can find the best wallpaper for your iPhone, for your iPad, for your Mac. And here's the thing about wallpapers, just kind of in general, we kind of know what we expect from wallpapers because we kind of get stuck in these ruts. Either it's just straight up photos of stuff and it's landscapes or architecture or whatever, or it's kind of this vector art sort of abstract style of stuff. And that's really what you see. So what if you want something different? At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to get something different than the usual, than the expected. But first, let's run through the usual suspects. Just get those out of the way. So we're gonna go through some stock photo sites where you can get some free stuff. We're gonna go through some apps for all your different devices where you can get some good wallpapers. And then we're gonna talk about some creators. And then I'm gonna share with you where you can get some really cool, interesting wallpaper packs. So let's start with stock photo stuff. And everybody I think knows about Unsplash, unsplash.com. I'm gonna link these all up for you down in the description though. So on Unsplash, I can go in and I can search for something like abstract background and find a whole bunch of really interesting designs that I can download for free. I can also search for something like landscape and find some really interesting you know, photography, if you just want straight up photography. Very similar to Unsplash is Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S. I think a lot of people have probably heard of that as well. Basically the same thing. Now I'm just gonna blaze through these and link them up in the description. So if you see something you like, check that out. But Life of Pix is another one that you probably haven't heard of that has some good stuff. Shopify also has a free stock photo service called Burst which is also worth checking into. And finally, for free stock photos, there's also ISO Republic, which has all kinds of interesting stuff too. Now the free stock photo sites, they're great. Uh, some of the things that maybe are less great about them are that you know you think it's free, but really you're gonna end up paying by watching the ads with your time and attention. Also, you're just gonna get that one size and who knows what the resolution is gonna be. Might be great, might not be. When something is free, you really do get what you pay for and there could be a better wallpaper experience. All right, so stock photo sites, those are legit areas to find some cool wallpapers, but what about some apps? On the Mac side of things, there's one called Dynamic Wallpaper Gallery, which is gonna give you some dynamic wallpapers that change over time throughout the day, which is kind of cool. And then there's Hourglass Dynamic Desktop, which is really interesting because it basically turns your desktop into a clock of sorts. So you kind of know what time of the day it is based on just looking at your wallpaper. There's also Hologram, which gives you over 5 million wallpapers and widgets to check out. And one that I really like the feel and the look of is called Splashy, and it gives you auto-changing wallpapers designed to kind of keep you inspired throughout the day, and it's kind of low touch. You don't have to sit there and manage it. It just changes things out for you. And then finally, for the Mac, I also want to mention something that's not really an app, but I don't really know where else to stick it. It's called 100 Plus Mesh Gradients, and it's just got a bunch of different gradients that you can go in and choose from if you really like gradients and kind of a blurred background, which does tend to make your icons really pop. All right, so what about the iPhone? iOS and iPadOS side of things. Well, Zedge is definitely one of the most popular wallpaper apps. It has a credit-based system, so you get 6,000 credits for $10, whatever that means. And then there's also Wallcraft, which does have some nice wallpapers, but it has a subscription-based model, which a lot of people aren't gonna like. There's also Art Wallpapers by Art Paper, which is good, you get some stuff for free, but you have to pay if you wanna unlock the full experience. Similarly, there's Vellum Wallpapers, which also has a pay to unlock experience, but does have some nice selections. And then finally, there's Clarity Wallpaper, which has a yearly subscription. Now, obviously, as you hear me describing some of these apps, it's apparent that, you know, you can get some stuff for free here too, but not all that much because either you're gonna end up just getting a trial and have to unlock, you know, an app with an in-app purchase, uh, for more or you know they're going to try to get you with a subscription so i mentioned earlier that wallpapers are a great way to breathe some new life into your devices but i also have to mention a great way to breathe some new life into your apple ecosystem is to sign up for the daily tech newsletter that's also free and it comes out every friday and here's what it does it puts app and accessory discovery on autopilot for you people love it because they're discovering awesome stuff that makes their apple products better without having to go out and look for it. it just comes right to them so that's linked up down in the description now that said, a third great place to find really awesome wallpapers is from some of your favorite creators. So here in the tech space, there are plenty of creators who have created their own wallpaper kits and packs that you can download. And if you pay for them, you're helping to support those creators, right? So win-win. I'll just mention a couple here. One of them is Basic Apple Guy, who has a huge library of really interesting wallpapers that you can check out. 
Of course, there's Chris Lolly, who has a great wallpaper pack available with some really great photography, and he did all the photography and edits himself, so that's a pretty cool experience. I can't not mention Canoopsy here. Canoopsy.media has a bunch of great wallpapers designed by Canoopsy, some really colorful and interesting stuff for sure. Byte Review also has some really interesting wallpapers to choose from. And then there are the Daily Tech wallpaper packs, which are my wallpaper packs, which I purposefully saved to the very end of this video to kind of discuss you know, the, the methodology behind creating these, why I put them out there, why they're unique, why they're different, because I wanted you to see everything else that's out there and check that out first. So it didn't feel like I was pushing anything on you, but I did just wanna make you aware of these because I think they're really cool. I made them for a reason. When I first started creating some wallpapers, I just sort of was putting out stuff that I thought looked cool, like this iPad Air pack here, which has a bunch of different colors that actually are designed to match the current iPad Air lineup. Other than trying to make something that look cool, I didn't really have a rhyme or a reason for putting those things out in any particular format or anything. So those are up on the store and they're still great. They look great, but I've since come up with a whole new way to deliver these files with some certain standards. And I call it the top res format, which is just kind of my way of saying, hey, look, these are a visual system. So when you download one of my wallpaper packs, it's gonna come with six different variations on a certain theme. So for example, I've got this one called Punk Cities, which is six different wallpapers that are sort of a cyberpunk futuristic uh, city block or city intersection. And that one in particular has proven to be pretty popular. I think it's the most downloaded pack that I've put out. But the reason there's six variations is so that if you wanna put something that matches on your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac, let's say, that kind of goes together as part of the same theme but isn't identical so you get some variety, you can actually do that as opposed to finding a cool free wallpaper from a stock photo site or something, but it's the same thing on each of your devices, which can be cool too, because it still matches. But then these are also lossless PNG wallpaper files. So they're designed specifically to look as good as possible on your favorite portable Apple devices. So it should look good on your iPhone Super Retina XDR if you've got the Pro, should look good on your iPad Liquid Retina XDR if you have the Pro, and it should look good all the way up to a MacBook Pro with a Liquid Retina XDR. Now, I designed these specifically for your mobile Apple devices, not necessarily for your big monitors, so keep that in mind. But also keep in mind, one of the things that differentiates the wallpaper packs that I put out is that there's intentional framing. So this is digital artwork, right? It's not meant to be photorealistic necessarily or pixel perfect, it's art, which lets your imagination run wild. If you're trying to be more creative, this should inspire your creativity and kind of get your imagination firing. But not only did I include six different variations within each wallpaper pack, all designed around a theme, I also included three different sizes for each of those six variations. So you actually end up with 18 files when you download one of these wallpaper packs. So you get uh, one for your iPhone, one for your Mac, one for your iPad, for each of those six variations. And each of those has been intentionally framed. So, you know, with the digital artwork, if there's one thing that really looks good uh, framed vertically, then that's what's framed. It's not just random. So when you set your wallpaper on your Mac, for instance, the Mac just kind of centers it and puts it however it wants. Well, these are intentionally framed so that the best parts of each artwork really come to life and look as good as possible. So this is unique stuff. You're not gonna find something like this anywhere else. And it doesn't really fit into that category of just photorealistic like you're gonna get at those free stock photo websites. And it really isn't that abstract kind of a vibe, although I do have some cool abstract stuff as well. But there's definitely some wallpaper packs here that are just super different and can really help you kind of switch up the look and the feel that you've gotten used to over the years when it comes to what you expect from wallpaper. Now, like a chef in a restaurant, if I could make some recommendations for you, and I'm gonna go ahead and give you a credit, okay? So I'm gonna give you a $4 credit or coupon, you can find it down in the description, and that's gonna let you uh, go ahead and buy one of my original wallpapers, which are listed for $4, one of those packs, for free, and there's several to choose from. I think shades would be a good option. Shades is really cool, it's just some gradients. I really like Nebulous myself. That's definitely one of my favorite wallpaper packs that I've ever designed. The iPad Air pack is great, even if you don't have an iPad Air. So colorful, really clean, nice. And then I also really love the holographic pack. That's a top seller. The Siri Blurs pack is great. So with your free credit, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can check out. And those are wallpaper packs that have lots of different variations within them. But if you wanna upgrade your wallpaper experience a little bit, there's also my top res wallpaper packs. 
and I just uploaded 10 fresh top res packs, which means there's something like 20 actual top res packs available to check out right now. And I'll be adding to this in the future. So you should always, you know, bookmark this and come back when you're in need of some new wallpaper. The Supernovae pack, which is just kind of some space explosions, very colorful, lots of energy there. I really like the Dark Matter pack. It's a space theme. I really like space stuff, but you're kind of trying to see what there is in the negative space. It's like there's something there, but there's not. There's also the Bonsai pack, which is exactly what it sounds like. So if you want some greenery in your office space and your workspace, and you're really bad at watering the plants, keeping them alive, hey, just get a fake bonsai, stick it on your desktop or your lock screen. Subscribers to the channel know I really like coffee, and so especially nitro coffee, and I had this thought like, what would a cyberpunk coffee shop look like? Because I knew that the Punk Cities pack sold so well. I did a few other cyberpunk related themes, and so I kind of imagined a cyberpunk coffee shop. So if you kind of want a place to chill or hang out <laughs> uh, on your desktop, on your lock screen, that's kind of creates a cool atmosphere there. There's also Parktopia. So if you like Central Park and those kind of New York vibes, and you want sort of a nature related where city meets nature kind of a thing. There's some really, really interesting visuals there. Spiralaxies, which is just some spiral galaxy art. That's been really popular. There's some stolen blueprints. There's some futuristic mansions, but I've also put together some mega bundles, right? So if you wanna get a bunch of wallpaper and just never have to look for wallpaper either again or for a very long time, you can actually do that. So the bundle will actually let you save 50% versus buying everything individually. And actually, a lot of people have been getting these. Uh, it's been pretty popular. I think that first bundle has been really popular because I also included five of the original non-top res wallpapers in there as well. Some of my favorites. So a lot of good value there. The second mega bundle also gives you a bunch of great wallpapers. So you never have to go looking for wallpaper again or for a very long time, but it also includes some exclusive bonuses five different wallpaper packs that you can't get individually. They're only included with that second bundle. So enough yip yap. At the end of the day, hopefully this video really kind of got you pointed in the right direction. Whatever it is that you're looking for, whatever price you're looking for, uh, there's something for everybody here in this video. And again, everything is linked up down in the description. Don't forget, you can use that coupon code uh, to go get yourself a free wallpaper pack from the Daily Tech Wallpaper Pack store. Don't forget to sign up for that newsletter. Also, there's a podcast, the Daily Tech Podcast, which people say is kind of just like hanging out with a friend once a week. That comes out on Fridays. If you just wanna know what's new with Daily Tech or what's going on with the Apple world, uh, everything sort of collides there for a nice little conversation. That's linked up in the description. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you find some good wallpaper and I'll catch you in the next video.